Jerusalem effectively shut down in many parts. Traffic at a complete standstill. Hundreds of thousands of people have turned out. Train service has been suspended. Uh, we've watched as these crowds all gathered uh, here. Uh, they showed the body uh, being carried, uh, lifted al aloft by some of his followers uh, for his funeral. There's going to be a eulogy. You can see some of the people there. Security services have been on the scene frantically trying to push people back because of the risk that some of these rooftops where they're standing could collapse. This is how many people have turned out. It, it's just a crush of people, and they are still pouring in on the street below me right now. Uh, Rabbi Ovedia Yosef was of particular importance to Sephardic Jews living in Israel who long felt that they were at a political, even an economic disadvantage here. This represents uh, the portion of Israel's population, about half, that immigrated from countries like Iran, Morocco, and elsewhere across Africa and the Middle East. Uh, Rabbi Ovedia Yosef himself was born in Baghdad and moved uh, here to what was then Palestine when he was but four years of age. Some call him a revolutionary for the way that he gave a voice, gave a share in Israeli society to Sephardic Jews. Nothing accomplished that like the ultra-Orthodox uh, Orthodox Shas party that he founded in 1984 uh, when he ended his 10-year term as chief uh, Sephardic rabbi. His image with those embroidered robes and rose-colored glasses can be seen on storefronts, in taxi cab windows, uh, here in Jerusalem, even long before uh, the news of his illness surfaced. He died today after uh, a long stay in the hospital. You know, it is his interpretation of the sanctity of life in Jewish law that decreed that it was possible to give up the land of Israel for the sake of averting bloodshed. And that gave a stamp of approval to the cause of land for peace, although the rabbi and the Shas political party took uh, a rather harder right turn uh, at the Gaza withdrawal after the second uh, intifada. But he was controversial. He was a staunch conservative at various times. He was quoted as hoping that Palestinians in general, and President Mahmoud Abbas in particular, would perish from the earth. Uh, controversial, but then uh, we heard today that uh, President Mahmoud Abbas had sent condolences uh, to the rabbi's family. He's got 11 children. Uh, he uh, also had at one point branded Palestinians as vipers, although aides quickly uh, said that the former chief rabbi was speaking only of those who spilled Jewish blood. This man is loved not only by conservative Jewry, but uh, all different levels of society. People look to him for leadership, his interpretation of Jewish law, which although his political views may have been very conservative, he was seen as something of a liberal as uh, someone who would interpret Jewish law. So just a huge crush of people out on the streets today. The funeral, this could be hours away before we see a burial. Sarah? Yeah.